Hit the right angle on Rumble, as well as YouTube Keep Arkansas Lingle. Also, this will be made into a recording onto Podbean, where you can listen to this. This is just kind of a news story. I know there's a lot going on in the news, especially with the Republican Party of Arkansas. Still waiting to see what happens regarding the signing, uh, certifying of electors, or if that's going to mean anything. Uh, of course, there was somebody that did try to kill President Trump. It's likely some other, I guess what you call operative in the deep state. Lots of stuff going on, but I also do want to focus on some things that why this stuff matters to people, why it matters to you, how to how to get on a local level and deal with issues that affect you. Wind energy has been a scam for decades. This is a this is a one of these renewable energy scams. And sadly, Arkansas is going to get its first wind farm. Two more in the works. I'm not going to read this whole story here, but these are the locations they're going to be at. Uh, Nimbus, Crittenden County, Cross County, and Green and Carroll County. Now, most of these are generally, Arkansas is for the most part a red state, and most of these are in red areas. The blue areas are near Fayetteville, Little Rock, and Pine Bluff, and then a few other delta areas, maybe long here wind, so maybe long grain wind, uh, maybe in what's called a blue air part of the state. But here we are, Arkansas is, you know, we're, we're next to last in education still, even with the reforms done with Arkansas Learns. A lot of reforms are needs to go. And, of course, if you follow me, you know the reason why. We have not dealt with the organizations that keep Arkansas down. Uh, the Arkansas Association of Counties, the Chamber of Commerce, uh, the Municipal League, these various bureaucracies. The real reason why Arkansas has been dead last for decades under Democrats and is still just so under Republicans. Now, right now, Arkansas, as you mentioned, is a, as I've said before, is a Republican supermajority. So why is there green energy projects going on in Arkansas, even though they are a scam? And I'll tell you, here's, here's an example. Of course, on my broadcast, I show the, the, the pointlessness in having to reduce carbon. Carbon is 0.4% of the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, this graph doesn't even show you is that carbon is only point, uh, man's contribution to that carbon is less than 5%. So it means nothing. If we were to Thanos glove all of the carbon that man has ever made, it wouldn't make a hill of beans a difference in terms of the climate and the atmosphere. But the, the wind energy in and of itself is a scam. Most people know that solar is a scam. We remember Solyndra, A123, where millions of dollars in taxpayer funds were given to organizations, buddies of Barack Obama. Uh, and these organizations would oftentimes go bankrupt. There, there was footage of solar panels being thrown into dumpsters, and we remember, we somewhat vaguely remember these. And, and this, and I'm opposed to any taxpayer-funded solar industry happening too. But this is an example here in Australia. This is a from Pelham on Twitter X. The uh, Andrew Alexander Nichols, former federal government policy advisor, say Australians are paying over six hundred thousand dollars per wind turbine per year in subsidies. Subsidies paid to offshore wind companies is costing forty billion a year. Farmland is leased for twelve thousand a year, but if a turbine catches fire, which does often happen, a farmer is liable for damages on neighboring farms. This explains why Australian energy prices are some of the highest in the world. And you can listen to that. I'm not going to play that audio for you. But this is some, you can see here where to find this. Bottom line, here's another article, uh, costs and predictions and outcome. This is from the Global Warning Policy Foundation. Wind costs of offshore wind is, is high and barely, uh, and barely falling. So again, why is this happening in Arkansas? Well, here's part of the reason I'll, I'll go to this back to this article. The Nimbus Wind Project is the only one that is currently facing organized opposition, but is expected to proceed. Why? Because nobody found out about this. Here's part of the problem: is you never get town halls. The same thing with these crypto mining facilities. These facilities were up and in operation before anybody knew about them. That's not an accident. You would think with you know, multiple TV stations and 24-7 news, you would know about this, but you don't. And then uh, you know, some people there 
Among other things, opponents are concerned about possible water well contamination from the construction because it takes a lot of concrete to make these things, and it also takes a lot to maintain them. They, they have to be oiled. David Ryder, the county judge in Carroll County, who will be paid by Scott, you, you can't grow a goat there of the rugged terrain. Yeah, he speaks on behalf of all of them. I mean, you can't grow a goat there. Goats can eat almost anywhere. I, I don't believe that. I don't believe in a, the, this, this area that's going to have to have 30 wind turbines that nothing can grow there. Why don't, he put, why don't uh, Mr. Ryder put it in his own backyard then? They're going to fix our roads that are rough. No, you can lower taxes, stop wasting money on stupid pet projects, which I know is done in every county, and you can fix your roads that way. Argentina did that. Their, their economies, their stock market's up 44% since they got rid of bureaucracies. And then, of course, he slanders the people that are against the Carroll County Wind Farm. He, said, he claims a lot of them are from at, overseas into the country, even though a lot of times these corporations that do these are oftentimes from out of the town. I mean, if it's the first Arkansas wind farm, it's probably going to be from people that are out of state. And so there is a little bit of mention of opposition, but it's, it's no, nobody that's local. And they tout job creation. These are what we call green jobs. And then so a bunch of investments, meaning they're going to bribe certain people in order to do their operation. And, of course, this is done with Entergy, the U.S. Department of Energy, with the people that we pay for, the Office of Energy and Fish and Renewable Energy. That's another office that I'm sure you pay for. That's, on your, that's, that's in some fee you find on your electric bill. In case they get some professor to talk about why people oppose wind projects, why don't you actually talk to someone who opposes them? Your whole article, you never could find someone. And you'll notice this with these media. They just talk about people that oppose uh, leftist ideals. They never talk to them. Dirty fossil fuel projects. Climate change, which is a lie. But they'll never, they'll never mention that. Now, you've not been strongly welcomed. Where can we see that? Where's the town hall? We have seen zero indications of anything like what the author described. We have been strongly welcomed in the community by people of every type, by government officials at every level in Arkansas. But you said earlier you had opposition. Now, you, have, you didn't do town halls on these things, and you didn't tell them the facts. So here we are, we're fixing to get scammed again with wind. By the way, this, uh, so here's one of the companies, Cordial Power of Toronto, Canada. So again, if, if, you, if you have lots of money, they don't care you're from out of state. Out of state only becomes an issue if you're opposed to some leftist ideology and you don't have a lot of money. This one's a North American development arms of Vestas. I don't know where the other one is. But if you wonder why, why is this happening? Why do other things like this happen? And well, this is an article from Conduit that I've shared before, and it explains why this sort of thing happens. Uh, our, the Republican Party is sadly run by globalists and a lot of the funding for it comes from globalists and here it is fourth place donor $130,000 is Entergy and these are donations from January 2019 to 2024 but let me, look, let me see if I can find the other group here oh here it is here it is Global Principal Partners, LLC, Green New Deal. $30,000 and then $50,000 for a total of $80,000. Uh, 
That's why the Arkansas legislature will likely not do anything about this. Just like next to nothing was done with the crypto mining. And until we reform the Republican Party of Arkansas and force out those people that seem to care more about uh, the Chamber of Commerce and the other globalist groups and don't listen to we the people, this kind of stuff is going to happen. So contact your Arkansas legislature. Tell them to put a ban on these scam wind farms. And again, you can, you can share them information like this. You can share them. This one here says wind turbines. One wind turbine is paid $700,000 a year subsidies. And this one here is 600000 Uh, of course, it takes lots of steel, plastic, iron. It takes lots of fossil fuel to make these wind turbines. Also, and again, it takes lots of money. And the whole point of it is useless. Is as you see on the upper right, carbon is 0.04% of the Earth's atmosphere. And these stupid pet projects are why we're in a debt up to trillions of dollars. Why uh, kids that are growing up that are just now born, they're going to be indebted in the tune of trillions of dollars because of stupid things like this. So, folks, I'm going to take a little break. Uh, I'm going to do some work on some other projects. I may do another radio pro uh, recording later on. I am waiting to see what happens regarding the other issue that I talked about. Uh, this was posted on South Arkansas Reckoning. I am keeping up on that. This is in regards to the Arkansas electors. Will something need to be signed? Is something going? Is, is the certification going to be done? If not, what happens because of that? I honestly, it, I've asked lots of questions about this and don't know myself. But here's uh, here's the story about the the six electors. Uh, the secretary for the Republican State Convention of 2024, Jennifer Hopper, has signed it. The chair, Jennifer Lancaster, as far as I know, has not. And what's going to happen because of that? I'm not sure. The uh, actually, she's one of the uh, six electors. But you can go to South Arkansas Reckoning. I encourage people you to go there. Uh, this is a message from Jennifer Lancaster to Mandy Lester, and I believe Seth Mays. And you can see that message is to really the Republican Party of Arkansas. And so there's a fight between conservatives and the Republican Party of Arkansas on what to do regarding rule changes. You can see the story here. But yeah, this kind of stuff is why you're reading up with wind farms because you have leader, you have very poor leadership in the Republican Party of Arkansas, and there have been some mistakes in how to deal with them. And so it's led up to this day. Technically, it was September 15th, but that was a Sunday, not a business day. So as I understand correctly, it's rolled over to the certification is today. So crazy world out there. I'm just doing my part to inform people as best I can. I'm doing a much better job than the, you won't see this on television. So uh, tune in to me again at just the right angle. I do a broadcast every Wednesday at 1235 where I talk about these important issues and try to get others involved. And I also sometimes will do extra, call this an extra video. I also do videography work on the side. I am working on a campaign video at the moment and some other projects. Y'all have a great day. Find a way to get involved and save this nation.